Hello Heavy Metal Manners and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Dark in Love haul for you. Never tried Dark in Love before so first time for everything. I've popped my Dark in Love cherry. <laughs> but before we get to that remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So, the wonderful Kate from Kate's Clothing. You know I will just go on and on and on about Kate's Clothing, but I love them. The wonderful Kate from Kate's Clothing. When she sent me my beautiful shelves and stuff, she also asked me if I would like to try some Dark in Love items. And I said, I've never tried them before. I have no experience with the brand. I'd love to give them a go. So, she very kindly gifted me four items, which I'm going to show you now. I am really impressed, really impressed. So I got two tops and two bottoms. I had obviously, as I have said, never tried Dark in Love before and I have found them to be of a punk rave style but not quite as amazing quality as punk rave. I mean punk rave is very expensive because the quality of everything is absolutely top notch. The material is always beautifully thick really really well made there's so many little details you know full attention to detail but it's not cheap dark in love i think fills that gap where it's a slightly more kill star price range uh but that does mean that the quality isn't as good as as punk rave but i'm okay with that i'm okay with that so the four items that i got as i said two tops two bottoms so the first top that i got is the Petra top. Now it's quite difficult to see here, hang on, let's see if I can pull down the back, there you go, right you can see it's got this cut out detail here at the front with these two straps across the that sort of the decolletage area uh, and then it's got these cut out sleeves so it's like a boat neck almost with cut out sleeves with these straps on the side. It will all become much clearer on the try-on. So the Petra top, it is 92.6% rayon and 7.4% spandex. Very specific. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. I like this top, but it's definitely my least favourite thing out of all the items. It's a shame, I think if it had been made out of a slightly weightier fabric, I would probably wear it more. I think where to be honest I also think maybe if I'd got it in a smaller size it might look better where it's quite thin fabric it's like a jersey I suppose um it, it almost feels like it needs to be a bit tighter for it to suit my body shape it just feels a little bit like it hangs off me a bit which is such a shame but I think if I'd gone for the smaller size it would have been too tight and where it's not the thickest fabric you might have been able to see through it and there's nothing worse than having a top on that just looks a bit like you've been squeezed into it you know <laughs> so i got everything in this haul in a medium uh, i basically took all my measurements went on to kate's website the last slide on every dark in love item on their website is all the sizing details so it's got all the measurements of the items etc and I literally just went by my measurements because you can never tell these days with sizes of things so I just go on the measurements and it said that this top was going to be the best I do think that it I was kind of a bit in between sizes but I wanted something that was really comfortable because when I got this some of my clothes were getting a little bit tight on me which was a little disappointing it's the the Christmas well it's just the the winter lockdown cake and biscuit eating <laughs> so, <laughs> but I wanted to feel really comfortable in my clothes I do really like this top but like I said out of the four items that I got it is definitely my least favorite but it does still look really cool I'm obviously really digging the slightly open decolletage tops at the moment I have got quite a few of them they just seem to appeal to me a lot do you know what I think this would be a great one for those like spring and possibly even on a cooler summer day top just because it's nice thin material it's definitely not one for a cold winter's day you would definitely want something much warmer on top if you're going to wear this on a really really chilly winter's day but as you can see in the try on it does look really cute you know you can't deny it does look cute it's just not my favorite of all of the items but you know something always has to come in last don't they <laughs> so 
The bottoms that I got that I am modeling with that top is the Lacerta mini skirt. This is really cool. Now, I got this because Simply Spooky had got hers in a Kate's clothing haul a little while ago. Uh, and I saw her video and I basically contacted her and it was like, what's the sizing like? What do you think? You know, and, and awesome skirt, you know, <laughs> and um, she gave me her thoughts on it. I had watched her video first, but I just wanted to ask a few follow up questions as it were. So this is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I think if it was made of cotton, it would be really badly creased. I have literally washed this, hung it up, and dried it that's it i haven't i don't iron i don't iron if something needs that much ironing i'm not interested i have got enough to do in my life i want my clothes to look good as they are and the polyester means it really does look great it's not like it's sitting under your armpits i think if it was a polyester top it would be really uncomfortable but actually the, that fabric really lends itself very well to this skirt so some of the details again i got this in a medium it has a chunky front zip which you can see look the zip ends at the bottom here which is unusual so it means when you unzip it it is literally undone there it is completely open i won't complete well actually i can completely open it there you are let's see completely open uh it then has this fixed waist belt so that means you cannot tighten it up or loosen it it is the length it is i mean you could undo all the stitches on it and re-stitch it up but trust me trying to stitch through this i don't know what you call it it's like the it's like the straps on a backpack but um if you try trying to stitch through that is hard work um so i wouldn't advise getting it and trying to change the the size on the belt unless you really really have to I really like these belts. I'm really into them. That I've got a punk rave skirt that's got, it's like a mini skirt uh, and it's got these straps on it. It's got one on each side and they come right, right down to my ankles. I love that skirt. I will be reviewing that at some point. It's just, it's quite a summery outfit that it, I got it for. And so it doesn't really lend itself to being released at this time of year. But yes, no, it's really, really cool skirt. I really love these chunky, things on them they're very um it's a very cyber goth so demonia did the glitch sandals over the summer which was basically all of these all over them strappy chunky platform sole i really wanted them i stupidly waited and they all sold out and when i emailed them they said they weren't getting them back in stock so i must admit i think in spring i might email them and go are you sure you're not going to get them back in stock i really think you should reconsider because i would snap up a pair i'm gutted that i didn't get them they would look so cool with this i the thing about this skirt is i think other than like if you're in sort of 35 degree weather the polyester might be a little uncomfortable but because it's pleated and therefore it's got this real sort of skater style swish to it you could wear this all year round it's such a versatile skirt it's got this really cool little pocket on the side again with the strap on now it also has this chain on it so the bag itself is removable because you can undo these little i don't know what they are they're like little hook things so you can undo those to take the whole bag off but you can't take the chain off now my only problem with the chain is is that it's twisted it's been attached to the skirt twisted up my ocd as soon as i got it i was like oh i need to untwist that and then i realized that i can't untwist that that's how it's been manufactured which annoyed me no end to be honest i've only kept it on here for this so that i could film this video and then as moment this video is finished filming i am going to get my jewelry pliers and i am going to open up the little o-rings here and take it off because i if i'm going to wear a wallet chain i want it to be a big ass chunky wallet chain and this doesn't really do it and i keep getting it hooked on door handles hence why it's tucked behind the pocket because that's really annoying <laughs> when you get caught on door handles so <laughs> the amount of times that the kids have been like mummy what's the matter because i've sworn my head off going into a room because i've got the pocket caught on my door handle and then ended up slopping tea all over the floor or something because I'm carrying a cup of tea with me. So yeah, that is coming off like literally the moment I turn this camera off. <laughs> so, <laughs> but no, it's a really cool skirt. I really love it. It looks great just as it is with a pair of sandals. It looks great with a pair of thick, chunky, you know, those like cotton, stretchy, like, like schoolgirl tights, you know, lovely and warm. 
it's just a really versatile skirt i really love it it's gone with so many different things love it love it love it it also has a belt hoop at the back so if you really wanted to you could remove this belt and put your own belt on if you really wanted to i i love it the way it is i wouldn't want to do that really really impressed with that love it love it love it okay so the other outfit the next top that i got this i have seen wanted this for ages so this is the pentagram shoulder top again on the hanger it's not really doing it justice it will look better in the try on i saw this top when i was at download a couple of years ago now and i was umming and ahhing about buying it but i was like i can't really go and try it on i'm at download and also i was thinking if i try it on and i'm quite smelly it's download i don't really want to have to put it back on the hanger you know and what if i don't like it and and also heavy metal hubby was like for god's sakes we're not here to buy clothes you always want to buy clothes <laughs> so <laughs> So I kind of went, oh no, no I won't. As it turned out, it would it was really expensive as well when I saw it at Download Festival. It was much more reasonable on Kate's. Unfortunately, I think it's out of stock now on Kate's, but I think you can click the email me for a back in stock notification. This top is 95% cotton, 5% spandex, and this is definitely a heavier weight material than the Petra top. I think you can just see by the way that they move. This one definitely is thicker um not thick in like a, oh my god i'm too hot kind of way it just sits a bit better it clings a bit better it's yeah it just it doesn't crunch up as much it's just a nicer top it hangs better and i love this pentagram detail so cool i bought a red mesh bodysuit from new look a little while ago uh, when New Look had a sale on because I'd bought my daughter some clothes and then I was like well I'll have a look and see what they've got for me yeah red mesh bodysuit uh, which I have to admit I have struggled to accessorize because it frightens me all this <laughs> it being that colorful and especially because it's almost identical color to my hair and then it's like it's too much red it's too much red I can't cope <laughs> so, <laughs> but it looks amazing underneath this it just gives it that pop of bright red Definitely think I'll be wearing that for a few more outfits. Um, and yeah, this is a great top, lovely length sleeves. It's got the nice little mock neck. Do they call it a mock neck in America? Kind of polo neck, you know, turtleneck kind of thing. I just really like it, really comfortable. I wear it a lot. It, this has been one of the things that is constantly featured in my wardrobe recently. Got this again in a size medium and fits me perfectly. And as you can see in the footage, I have accessorised that with the hollow thigh trousers. So I took a bit of a punt on these. I wasn't sure what to, to expect. I'd seen these sort of, I don't know what you call them. They're like cargo style, but they're also kind of tracksuit bottom style trousers. I, I don't know what you call them. Comment down below if you know what the official name for this kind of trouser is. Uh, yeah I'd seen them I wasn't sure I was like part of me is really intrigued part of me is like oh they could look horrible but they also could look amazing they look amazing <laughs> so <laughs> I freaking love these trousers so they have an elasticated waist another thing that made me go I really want those trousers because again like I said the lockdown extra stone they're so comfortable and you can wear them and then eat and eat and eat and eat and they don't in any way get uncomfortable again as with the uh, the Lacerta skirt they have this faux buckle on the front made out of the again the sort of backpack strap material I really like the detail I really like the elasticated waist these have yeah I've recently been on a bit of a trouser kick and oh my god these are like one of my favorite pairs of trousers at the moment again they have the pocket on the side this one is not detachable uh but it's got again the clasp on there this is great this pocket it's really good for your phone it fits in there beautifully you're not in any danger of losing it you know we hate fake pockets although well saying that this is fake but it's more just a zip detail on it but i love the fact that there is somewhere to store your phone because it's one of the things that really annoys me about women's clothes is the lack of pockets you know how excited us women all get when we find out that a skirt has got pockets in it so i was really chuffed that that is a real pocket it's got this uh faux zip here my it's i like the zip i like the detail the only thing is this sticks out and it's quite 
pointy so very occasionally you sort of go to cross your legs and kind of jab yourself but you know it does if you do that it does tend to sit down i did think because it's a fake pocket if it really annoys me i'll just put a couple of stitches in it to stop it flapping about and then it's got this hollow leg detail now this is the thing that i wasn't sure about this hollow leg detail so it's got these two little straps that hold it up with this d-ring detail i have to admit the d-ring detail so it kind of seems a little superfluous to me it doesn't really add anything to it it doesn't really do anything but you know it's cool um, they are also, by the way, elasticated at the bottom, so they've got that super voluminous look to them. Now, the thigh detail. I was a bit like, oh God, am I going to be cold? Am I going to be cold? Because these are 98% cotton, 2% polyester. So the polyester just gives them, stops it getting all scrunched up and looking really raggedy. I mean, that obviously... I don't iron, as I said, so they don't exactly look, you know, beautifully crisply ironed, but I wouldn't want that look. That's not the look I go for. So, because I was like, well, I'm going to get cold. It's really cold at the moment in the UK. And I didn't want to wear, um, like, nylon tights underneath them because they're uncomfortable, you know, it's uncomfortable around your bits, you know. Um, and I had thought, oh, I'll get myself some of those schoolgirl tights in, like, a flesh colour. I thought that would be brilliant, you know, I'll get some of those next time I'm in Primark and then lockdown happened. So I have worn these with a pair of black tights, those sort of cottony fluffy tights. They're so comfortable. They're so warm. Honestly, I was a bit worried I was going to be cold down the park with the kids catching Pokemon. They were so warm, snug as a bug in a rug. But I decided if I wanted to have that skin look, but without actually showing some skin. So in that new look order that I was talking about, I ordered these. I, I know the lights are making them look white. They are actually, I think they called them camel. They are not quite my skin tone. They're a little lighter. I know a lot of people that this would definitely be their skin tone. I just have a slightly more olive skin. Um, but you know, for an online shop, uh, I was pretty pleased with them. I think they look great. They keep my legs really warm. I went to Marwell with the kids and just wore these and the trousers and that was in November because it was before lockdown it was the November half term I took the kids to Marwell uh, and yeah I was snug as a bug I really like these because where the cotton they're nice and breathable it kept my tum tum warm as well <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah I'm becoming a bit of an old lady <laughs> so, but no these are great they look brilliant with my demonia poison 101 boots you sort of just tuck them in slightly to those that they look awesome with that especially because they've got all the chains and danglies on them so it really sort of you know all these details work with those details they also look fantastic with new rock boots I've got well, I've got so many different pairs of new rock boots but all my like what I would call three-quarter height new rock boots are so not my knee-high new rock boots they look amazing with they're just great they also look great with my uh koi rhymo core trainers they're just really, 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 really great trousers and I'm kind of in love with them. So, <laughs> yeah. I would definitely recommend you getting yourself a pair of these. I am thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly in love with them. There is a pair of uh, punk rave trousers that are very similar, but they're almost double the price. And I think these are a great cheaper version. I'm sure the punk rave ones are beautiful you know with punk rave that the quality is just going to be second to none but i think for the reduction in price these are well worth it i'm really 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 chuffed with all my dark in love stuff and i will definitely be getting more of their stuff definitely 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 i am yeah really really chuffed with everything so that was my little dark in love haul of course, because I got everything from Kate's Clothing, you know I've got a brand new code for you. So the code, which is valid until the end of February, is METALFEB15. I will put it up there. It will be down in the description box, as it always is. You know, I've always got code for you. There's so many codes down there. Go check them out. Have you tried Dark in Love before? What are your thoughts? Do you Have you tried Dark in Love? Have you tried Punk Rave? What are your favourite brands? You know my favourite brands. Nessar Evil, Killstar, Park, Punk Rave. And now I'm really, really pleased with Dark in Love too. So, well, that's the big brand. Then there's all the independents. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you want to watch some of my independents, I've got a playlist for you. I will link it down below. But remember to like this video. 
comment down below to discuss any of the things that came up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do i am so appreciative of all of the love that you send to me hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever i upload and remember people stay heavy